I'm so excited to be here with you today and taking a look at one of my favorite numbers to map out when it comes to building a business, your revenue target, or as we like to call it here at The Doer's Way, your freedom metric. This is the number where all the pressure starts to let off a little bit, right? The point that you reach in your business where you can just begin to breathe a little bit easier. Everything becomes less stressful once we can consistently hit this number each and every month. But it's not just going to be a number that we pull out of thin air, right? We're going to spend the next five to 10 minutes getting some clarity on what the initial freedom metric should be in your business. Notice I didn't say five hours either. This can all be done as quickly as five to 10 minutes by most female entrepreneurs. So I want you to check out the download below and start jotting down your monthly budget. The way we like to break this down is into five core categories, if you will. The first two are pretty common and most of us remember these most of the time. So with personal expenses, there's usually four to six big ones. You think mortgage or rent, food, household bills, kids, maybe car expenses. Then you might think of business expenses. So whether you've got an office or any staff wages or subscription softwares with some examples. Now the last three aren't as common and are easily forgotten about, even though these are what we like to call our adult numbers. So the first one being savings. Ideally, you wanna have a number for both personal and business savings. The next one is advertising. What do you wanna be spending each month when it comes to your advertising? If you think maybe $100 a day, that means you wanna be budgeting $3,000 a month. It can be lower if you're just getting started. So just map out however much you're comfortable with spending once you're hitting your freedom metric, right? And then the last one is taxes. Now, depending where you are in the world, this will vary. It might be 20%, it might be 50%, it might be 30%. So we'll just put in whatever makes the most sense for you so that you are making sure you're putting some of that revenue that you're bringing in away for taxes. Now, this doesn't have to be a 300 line budget. This is just your biggies. If you have something that say over $1,000 per month, then it should be included in its own line. Otherwise you can group things together. And one more thing, always round up if you're not quite sure. You always wanna be conservative here. I'm super excited for you to map this out. And later on, once we're crafting your irresistible offer, we'll be able to identify how many clients you'll need to close each month in order to achieve your freedom metric. And I bet it will be less than you're thinking now, but more on that later. Ready to get going? Awesome.